Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here. And at the end of last week, we got word that MSNBC has hired disgraced former FBI lawyer Lisa Page to be a national security and legal analyst at the network. Uh, yeah, uh, telling you even more about the uh, credibility or lack thereof of MSNBC. It seems in recent years that MSNBC and CNN alike have been making it a, a pattern of hiring these disgraced former Obama-era Intel officials to be political analysts on their networks, uh, even though these individuals like Lisa Page, John Brennan, Jim Clapper, have been proven to be involved in corrupt and or criminal behavior. Uh, behavior that is being probed. Of course, we have the ongoing criminal investigation from U.S. Attorney John Durham. Also, U.S. Senator Ron Johnson, who chairs the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee. Late last week, that committee authorized subpoenas for its investigation into this known Obama-era wrongdoing. Uh, of course, there's supposed to be another investigation, a similar investigation, in the Senate Judiciary Committee. That committee's chaired by Senator Lindsey Graham, who, of course, has a history of talking a big game, saying all the right things, but then not backing it up. He's done that time and time again, and there are some concerns that he might be doing it yet again, as uh, there was supposed to be a vote on subpoenas in that committee last week, but it did not happen, so hopefully... That vote does happen in the near future because Lindsey Graham uh, needs to know this is a time to take things seriously. We're talking about known corruption and criminality at some of the highest levels of our government, some of the highest levels of our intel agencies during the Obama years. That absolutely needs to be taken seriously. So time to step up, Lindsey Graham. Uh, also, uh, you have Lindsey Graham recently saying that he and his committee have been blocked from interviewing two FBI employees who reportedly took part in a key interview of the phony, anti-Trump, Hillary-funded Steele dossier source. So whatever's going on there, uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, get to the bottom of it. Uh, we absolutely deserve, as the taxpayers who fund this nation's government, we absolutely deserve to know the full extent of corruption and criminality that was taking place in our nation's government over the years, during the Obama years, uh, with some holdovers, sadly, uh, beyond Obama's time in office. We deserve to know the full extent of that corruption, that criminality, and it is imperative that all of those who are responsible for that corrupt and or criminal behavior, that they are held to full and proper account for what it is that they have done to so greatly wrong the United States. Uh, we must set a precedent that, no, this sort of stuff will not be tolerated in our government. It was not tolerated at the end of the day during the Obama years, and it will not be tolerated at any point in our nation's history. Uh, it is so imperative that all Americans, including those in elected or non-elected office with, the, with these really uh, impressive government titles, it's imperative that all Americans, including them, are held to the same standard of justice. And we're only going to be able to believe that's happening is if the criminal criminality from the Obama years is punished to the fullest extent of the law. So guys, do a great job. John Durham, Ron Johnson, even you, Lindsey Graham, step up, do what needs to be done. And let's make sure that all of these criminals who wronged all of us in the United States are brought to justice for what they've done. That's all the time that we have for today. The John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.